In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Purge movies, there's five of those, to Code 8, Part 1 and 2. The first Code 8 movie came out in 2019, the next one came out in 2024, February of this year specifically. Code 8 is basically taking the same idea that's in X-Men about a percentage of the population having powers and applying that to this action crime into these action crime movies that's the big thing that separates code eight these two films are not superhero films they're not comic book films but they have the same idea in them that's in x-men harry potter or miss peregrine's home for peculiar kids where a percentage of the population has powers but Code 8, it's a different genre. It's like action, crime, thriller. I think that's interesting. I've seen four out of five of the Purge movies. When you look at highest score for each franchise, well, none of the Purge movies are fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, unfortunately. The highest score is only 58% for the second movie. That actually is my favorite. When you look at Code 8, the 2019 film is an 81%. When you look at lowest score, the lowest score for the Purge franchise is the first movie, which only has a 40%. When you look at Code 8, the new film that came out this year has a 69%. Lower score, but still fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. And then when you look at average of Code 8, you have an average of 75. With Purge, you have an average of 51. And then when you look at gap between lowest and highest score, you got a gap of 12 in the case of Code 8. And you have a gap of 18 in the case of Purge. Code 8 has won every round so far, so it's going to win no matter what. And for me personally, I'm going to choose the Purge franchise primarily because I think the idea here is very interesting. These movies are looking at the question, what would happen if at some point in the future the U.S. government decided the best way to decrease the level of crime happening across the country is to make it clear that for 12 hours every year, for one night, anything is legal. All crimes are legal, even murder. And then once the 12 hours are up, then things go back to normal, where crime obviously is illegal. And so it seems like this is actually working out well, because in the movies we hear that, oh, crime has actually been greatly reduced because of these 12 hours of the year that are known as the purge where anyone can do anything so it's pretty interesting i would say to examine the question what would you do in that scenario how would you survive these 12 hours of the year where anything is legal also what if you were one of the people that wanted to participate in the purge that wanted to commit some crimes either kill someone else or injure someone else just looking at what would happen? How would the purge affect the country? Who are the people that benefit from it? Who are the people that are opposed to it? It's pretty interesting, I'd say, because I haven't really seen any other franchise cover this. I haven't seen this idea explored elsewhere. With Code 8, it's inherently just a bit more familiar, I would say. Not too much. Again, these films are changing up the genre compared to some of these other franchises yes but to me the purge is a little bit more interesting it's a bit more original now i think the first movie isn't as good as it could have been because we're just at a house the whole time we're not going out into the streets and seeing what's happening there so things are not as interesting as they could have been i think the second movie does the best job of delivering what i want from a purge movie it actually explores what's happening in the streets what's happening across the city while the 12 hours are happening while the purge is happening and then as the movies went on i think you did see the quality decline as they focused more and more on the politics and so moved away from really the franchise's biggest strength the biggest thing that makes it stand out but overall we have to give the win here to purge i would say this i definitely am interested in code 8 i definitely want to see it at some point
But as of right now, I haven't seen any of the movies. Code 8's going to win this debate, but I would personally right now choose the Purge franchise. That'll be it for... I will say with the Purge movies, it's interesting. You have in there at least one person I know. The actor Frank Grillo is in these movies. The same guy who plays Brock Rumlow, Crossbones in the MCU. I think that's pretty interesting. Aside from that, I don't really remember other names off the top of my head. But uh, that'll be it for this one.